It all began when gunmen alleged to be Fulani headsmen from Newman local government area of Adamawa crossed over to Taraba state and attacked several villages in Lao local government area of the state. The attacks sparked up a wave of reprisal attack leading to the sacking and burning of several settlements in the area. In Katigo at the moment, virtually 80% of the structures there have been raised down. About 52 of our people have been there, have been killed and brutally murdered. So many people have been displaced in the bush. The spirit of the attack is gruesome, is uncalled for, it's, it's the first of its kind to our community. The aftermath have left behind losses of lives and properties and inhabitants of these villages have flee for safer heaven of what remains of their belongings. One after the other, they lay down their loved ones who lost their lives in the unfortunate crisis to murder it. Grieving, they maintained they were raided without provocation. It is just a very sad thing and thing that we didn't even expect it and experience in life. As a pastor, I have buried 21 people of our community, which it is very painful and many people have run away and their food and all their properties have been gone down. Over 50, so far, over 50, but what we were able to witness, the burial we had today, we were able to bury 22. For Katibu, Laboro, there's no single life there. You, 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 don't, you won't find shelter because 90% of the properties there have been destroyed. Prompt response of security personnel to the area have altered the ugly violence from escalating. Uh, unfortunately, the incident did not originate from here. Like we are aware, uh, a couple of arrests have been made and they were determined to go into this wholeheartedly and holistically to ensure that perpetrators are brought to book. The heavy presence of security personnel indicates normalcy may soon fully return to the area. Udwa Godwin, Core TV News, Charlingo.